As you may know, one of the worst things about drinking alcohol is the hangover the morning after. Not surprisingly, all sorts of hangover cures exist, most of which have no evidence behind them. But there are a few strategies that have shown some potential. And in this video, I wanna look at a few ways to prevent hangovers or at least make them less severe. Number one, avoid drinks with congeners, which are toxic byproducts of alcohol production. Ethanol is the main active ingredient in alcoholic drinks. When ethanol, which I'll just refer to as alcohol in this video, uh, is produced by sugar fermenting yeasts, side products called congeners are formed as well. Now congeners are toxic chemicals other than the ethanol itself uh, that are formed in small amounts when alcohol is produced. Well-known congeners include methanol, isopentanol, and acetone. Alcoholic drinks with high amounts of congeners seem to increase the frequency and intensity of hangovers compared to drinks that contain low amounts. Now drinks high in congeners include whiskey, cognac, and tequila. Uh, bourbon whiskey is exceptionally high in congeners. Um, on the other hand, colorless drinks like vodka, gin, and rum contain low levels of congeners. Uh, in fact, vodka contains um, almost none at all. Several studies have compared the effects of vodka, low in congeners, and whiskey, high in congeners. Now both the frequency and intensity of hangovers were found to be greater after whiskey than vodka. Supporting this, two studies have found methanol, which is a common congener, to be strongly associated with hangover symptoms. Number two, drink plenty of water. Alcohol is a diuretic, making you pee more than if you were drinking uh, the same amount of pure water. For this reason, alcohol can contribute to dehydration. Now, although dehydration is not considered to be the main cause of hangovers, it may contribute to symptoms like thirst, headache, fatigue, and dry mouth. Fortunately, dehydration is very easy to avoid. Um, you just make sure to drink enough water. So a good rule is to drink a glass of water or another non-alcoholic uh, beverage between drinks and to have at least one big glass of water before going to sleep. Number three, having a drink the morning after. This may be my most popular tip of the day or most popular tip ever, but having a drink the next day uh, is a famous hangover remedy called hair of the dog uh, that bit you. I get that treating a hangover by having another drink seems paradoxical, but there's actually some interesting science behind it. Simply put, drinking more alcohol or ethanol is believed to affect the metabolism of methanol, uh, a well-known congener um, that I just spoke about before and that's found in trace amounts uh, in some drinks. Now after drinking, uh, methanol gets converted into formaldehyde. This is believed to be partly responsible for many hangover symptoms. Studies suggest that, at least in theory, drinking ethanol, alcohol, uh, the morning after can inhibit this conversion process, preventing formaldehyde um, from being formed. Now instead, the methanol can be discharged harmlessly from the body, uh, with breath and urine. Um, this is why ethanol is often used to treat methanol poisoning. All of that said, I can't encourage you to have another drink the morning after. This behavior is often associated with problem drinking and mitigating you know, a few hangovers uh, is not worth the risk of becoming an alcoholic. Number four, prickly pear supplements may help. Many hangover symptoms are thought to be caused by low-grade inflammation. In fact, uh, several anti-inflammatory drugs have actually shown to be quite effective against hangovers. Several plant-based foods and medicinal herbs may also reduce inflammation and help prevent hangovers, in particular prickly pear. Now this is the fruit of a cactus believed to be native to Mexico. In this double-blind controlled trial with 55 young and healthy individuals, taking prickly pear extract, which is a supplement, uh, five hours before drinking reduced the risk of a severe hangover by 62%. Now this kind of result certainly needs to be repeated before we can make uh, any more firm or strong conclusions about it, but it's certainly interesting. Number five, drink in moderation or not at all. Probably going to be my most unpopular tip, but the severity of hangovers increases with the amount of alcohol consumed. For this reason, the best way to prevent hangovers is to drink in moderation or not at all. There's always so much talk about toxins and other harmful compounds in our diet. The reality is that alcohol is probably the worst one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and don't forget to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.